welcome. Uh, this is a special video for the Spiritual Acceleration channel. I'm Cynthia, I'm part of the Spiritual Acceleration team. And today's video, we're talking today to Rosario Bates, who is a brand new accelerator on Bonnie Saratori's team. And I could tell you, she is an incredible healer. And it's a pleasure to be talking with her today. We're going to be talking about um, her journey as a healer, what she learned from Bonnie's work, and how that has changed her uh, process of healing. And also, we're going to be getting into the foundations training that's being taught very soon by Chris Williams, who is also an accelerator and the main trainer right now on the team. So Rosario, hi, how are you today? Hi, Cynthia, happy to be here. Thanks. It's always a pleasure talking to you because you're just you're just amazing, really. And uh, I do want to start out by saying you helped me tremendously on, um, in that one on one session we had. And I might get into that a little bit later today, but you're a really fantastic healer. And it's really an honor to be talking to you today about healing. So this is perfect. Um, so Rosario, could you tell us about um, your background as a healer and like what made you want to be a healer? Uh, well, I was uh, initially uh, a nurse in Chile in pediatric emergency. And when I came to Canada, I was trained as an um, ophthalmic photographer. And I, I had to do angiograms of the retina and the choroid and all the eye for diagnosis. But, and I did that for 30 years in, in Canada. And uh, in the middle of that, I was always so curious, like there's something else out there. I saw some, <clears throat> uh, you know, other modalities of natural healing that I was so attracted to it. And I felt like I want to go and study them all, but I was in the full, full uh, time work and I was looking out like, how do I do that? So one day my husband brought me, uh, showed me a course uh, in iridology that it was in the night school. So I went to the night school and that was it. I took every single course that was in that academy and he took a lot of them with me. He was 100% with me on that. We took a lot of that. I kept on taking more and more courses. So um, in um, 2007, I retired from the hospital and I started you know, uh, working on my own with different tools that I had accumulated and I kept on taking courses and I truly enjoyed it. Yeah. It's very fascinating, the, the modalities that they're coming. Some of them are very old, very old, like iridology and Chinese, you know, tra tra traditional Chinese medicine and all these other things, but they're coming back and to be applied now. They're resurfacing, which is fascinating. So how did you find Bonnie's work and what drew you to her work specifically? Well, uh, in one of the courses, one of my um, classmates and very good friend introduced me to Bonnie. She said, you know, look at that. So I went to uh, look at Bonnie's work and I started doing semi-private and private and group healing. And I saw such an incredible change in the work, uh, physical and emotional uh, clearing that they were amazing, that I could have spent a lot of time tr trying to clear and I didn't. So she really, truly helped me a lot. And I work also with other um, accelerators, um, Tracy and, and um, Chris and Offer, and they helped me fabulous. So I enroll in the school, I enroll. And, and from then it's just, I'm here. <laughs> yeah. So you've taken so much of Bonnie's um, courses and classes. You've done a lot of different private sessions and semi-private sessions, and you've had this very background of so many different healing techniques. Um, and, and then when you learn he, uh, Bonnie's work, her work, how has that changed you as a healer? Well, it gives you another scope, a lot further out and deeper because it goes to the very root, you know? Uh, through the emotions that <clears throat> she asks us to be in the emotion, she pulls the emotion, sees it, sends it, and goes to see what is the root of the issue. And she goes to whatever, either past lives or you know, um, entities or uh, implants or dark, whatever, dark forces, interferences or beliefs that we put in the subconscious. And so she clears all that. And once you clear the emotion, the issue, either physical, emotional or social, it clears. So it's like, we, and it's fast. And she goes absolutely to the root. And in every issue, sometimes there are layers. So you can keep on digging and clearing and clearing. It's just fascinating. Uh, it's like a shortcut. <laughs> Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. When I 
I know from my experience when I found her, it was just, it, it was like nothing else I've come across. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, eventually I want to train as well and learn and then be like you, <laughs> hopefully <laughs> one day. So uh, thank you for sharing all of that. And so um, the process of actually learning her work is uh, you have to take the foundations training. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, and that's coming up. I think February eleventh is the first um, class in this in this upcoming class. And you've taken this. You've probably you've taken apprenticeship as well. And it has to come after. And you've done all these other programs with Bonnie. But and and I know that this work that Bonnie does is so in depth and so profound. Like you were talking about all these different components that goes into the healing. And you're actually going to be taking foundations again. Um, this upcoming time and even though you're an incredible healer and I know because like you've you've helped me with uh, some dark force stuff that was you know some some beings were harassing me for years and they're, they're gone after my session with you and I had a curse on me which is now gone because of you so obviously you're an incredible healer but you still want to uh, take the foundations again and I think that really says a lot about you as a person of whatever, all, everything you shared so far, how you always want to keep learning, keep learning. So can you tell us about like why, why you decided to take it again? And, and does that really speak to how profound and, and in-depth this work is? Yeah, it really is a fascinating work. It's very deep. And uh, I want to go deeper. Um, every time you take a course, you absorb an incredible amount and you practice. Um, when you take it again, you know the pieces that you didn't absorb the first time. It was, just, it was very, very deep. And I want to go deeper. It's a really, truly fascinating. Um, it, this many tools is the basics of all this work. So it's something that we need to, to be able to handle this. And it's, it's really great. Uh, it keeps on building up module by module. And then you integrate all that. And, and it's um, a lot of uh, practice, a lot of practice. Okay, about that, like you said, there's uh, modules after modules. It, it is six, right? Six modules, six months? Six months, it, yeah. One module per month. And, um, and then after that, we do, uh, after every module, we do pods. So we divide them. We have um, one of the accelerators instructors uh, guiding us in the pod. And we have a group of three uh, students. So the, the instructor guide us and, you know, and corrects and, and makes comments of where we did and what's the best to improve it and all that is very supportive. And it's done in a very respectful way. Um, when all this wounding come up, it's a very deep stuff. And it's not something that you want to just, you know, tell anybody, but it is with a lot of um, non-judgment and a lot of respect. Um, so uh, it's easy to let things out and clear them. Well, that's good to know because when you're taking uh, trainings like this, you're getting healed too. You're going to be practicing with people and getting the profound healing. And I bet that when you're working with others, the things that you sense and see, hopefully, the, you know it, that gets verified by the others, and then you just become more confident. Is that right? How is how has your experience been with all that? Well, it's great because you see, after we do that, what we do is that one of the person become, and that's the role of a um, shaman. One is a client and the other one is a shaman assistant. So we all have each role in each pod. So we get the three, the three uh, you know, views of that and it's, uh, and, and it's very beneficial. So after that, they instruct, we say how we feel. As, as we, we're doing the process, it's all about getting your emotions and what comes up and what comes up and the other, other emotions that they keep on coming and coming and coming. And the instructor does, you know, you did this well, maybe the other one a bit more this way, the other way. So we, we get the, the clearing done and we get the lesson. So it's a two, two for one, you know, because you learn and you get healed at the time. And then you get, um, you love to do pots. I am doing pots still after the, the um, finishing the acceleration. We're still doing pots with my classmates just about every day because we keep on pulling layers and layers and layers. Right. So um, with these pods, um, now that you're doing it, even after the training, it's just with the students? Is the accelerator joining as well? With uh, no, we oh the, no. In after the apprenticeship, we did the pods independently, 
And so we, we create our own bookings with people from all over the different places, uh, different countries. So then we rebook that part and we rebooked it. So we, you know, we keep on doing it. And the class ended in September, we're still doing it. <laughs> <laughs> That's love great. It. We just love to keep on clearing and learn. And every time we do a part, we learn from the other. Every time we learn from the other and we do the three roles, we get healed and we learn. So it's a, it's a fabulous practice. That sounds great. Um, so one thing that might, many people might be wondering about is, um, are there prerequisites to taking this training? Like, do you have to have certain skills already to it? Because it seems very advanced. Well, the, the skills you need is to be able to sense energy and then you learn how to move it and clear it. Uh, I, I think everybody, most people are able to sense it in, in different ways, seeing it, feeling it, you know, getting kind of the, the knowing, you get a knowing and you know this is the answer. Uh, so what they do is with that, they teach us how to move it and, and clear it. Uh, you don't have to have any degrees or anything of any sort just to do it. You want to have the desire to be open your heart and work with this. In the past, you had to do the, it was that you did the, uh, the Awaken the Shaman and Intuitive You. But um, I just saw the foundations, I went in and it was okay. And now I did the shamans after. So um, no, you don't need more requisites than being you know, able to sense energy and be willing to work and open your heart. Right, and I'm sure that as the classes move forward, you just end up finding more and more of those abilities, right? Like the ability, but I'm assuming like you have to at least have some intuitive abilities and have some confidence in that before really taking this. Would you say that's true? <laughs> no. you be, if you feel that you, like a lot of people, I mean, most people have this ability, but they don't know. So they show you how to unveil it. You know, it's like a little rose that is blooming and the class help you to bloom. It's just beautiful because we all have it. I mean, we have the knowing, we have our own light. We have our heart and our soul that is guiding us. So we got it. It's just that we don't know it. We just, okay. the course will guide you to, to um, you know, show your own inner beauty. All right, thank you for sharing that. Cause I know for me that that's something that I, I'm a little hesitant about is will I be able to do it? And so I wanted you to talk about that because there might be other people who have that same question. So thanks for uh, touching upon that. So um, moving on, um, how, what would you like to say about Chris as a teacher? Chris is fascinating. He's a good teacher. He knows how to convey messages. He knows how to sense how you're feeling. Um, he is very um, compassionate. He has a lot of respect. He allows you the space to be and to feel and to express the inner wounding and he's there to hold space for you. So whatever happened, no matter what is coming out, he guides you through that and he's present, present, totally present. Um, it's a very safe place to be. So when you know that you're protected, you can clean all your woundings and you know, as I call it, your dirty laundry comes out. <laughs> you're okay with that because you're protected. You know, nobody's, nobody's judging. So it's a really, really very good, uh, he sends immediately what we are, what was going on with us. And he knows how to say, well, you and you are gonna do this and this and that. Um, fascinating. I, when I did foundation, uh, Tracy was uh, working with, uh, with Chris as well. And it was a really good match. They complemented each other marvelously well as well. Right. Is there anything else you'd like to share about foundations that we didn't touch upon? Um, you know, it's, it's worth taking it. You will learn a lot of tools, uh, things that you probably heard of, like, um, you know, remo removing entities, uh, clearing their past lives, doing clearing your contracts and agreements that we do. Bef many lives ago, we, we signed contracts to know ourselves in this way in this lifetime. And um, to clear them because we always think that we're doing something wrong, then why why so horrible things happen to me? And it's we have done contracts to know ourselves in this way. So we clear the contracts and the, the you know the road opens up. Um, clearing trauma, shock and PTSD, alien interferences that we can have, doing soul retrieval when we have trauma in other lives. Um, part of the soul just 
shatters or breaks or splinters and goes. So we recall that and we become complete again on that issue. And also working with the dark side of the light, which is very important because it's not only about light, it's also the dark. And also we get to uh, do a little bit of uh, knowing how to heal yourself, which is very useful. So it's a very comprehensive uh, course. It gives you a lot of tools, and this is the basis, fabulous basis. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm taking it again. <laughs> yes. Yeah, hearing about all that, uh, whatever, everything you shared just now, that's so many different components, and that's just the basics, right? Like, it's just uh, so profound what Bonnie's work does. And like you said, you, you get to learn how to heal uh, past lives. You get to uh, learn how to um, reclaim soul fragments. You get to learn about how to deal with the dark forces, which not many people know how to do, especially that one, the dark force stuff. Like mm -hmm. I was, I've been looking for years for somebody to help me with that. And when I found Bonnie, it was like, wow, this, this has really changed, shifted things for me. And so you're one of the new accelerators on the team. And how has that been for you? Very exciting. I'm really ready to work and move forward. And I'm just going to focus on that and keep on getting better and better. Yes. Right. And if you do any other course that comes, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love that. I love that about you. You're just so eager to learn and, and get better. And I know you, you show up to the healing clinic as well. And I know you like that because you get to work with people. Uh, it, uh, for those who don't know, Healing Clinic is a 15 minute one on one, uh, one question with uh, with an accelerator. So it's a very limited time, but you get to do you get to have that uh, time one on one. And but a lot could get done in 15 minutes, especially with someone as, as really talented as you. And then you get to practice in that little time frame to just get better. So I, I think it's great that you, you just have that eagerness. I love it. So if people want to book sessions with you, they can find you on the website, spiritualacceleration.com. I'll leave a link in the description. And um, is there any last words you want to say to like the audience listening to not just your, uh, um, is there something you want to say about maybe you or your, your path or, or even all the other trainings that you want to share anything, any last words? Well, uh, both so the, the, the healing modalities are really helpful. And also I encourage anybody who wants to dive into this kind of work, go for it. I mean, don't wait, don't think, oh, I'm not, I don't know if I'm intuitive or not, or will I, everybody's able to do that, everybody. And I, I would like to see you in this foundation, Cynthia. <laughs> <laughs> this upcoming one? I don't know if this upcoming one, maybe the next one. <laughs> it's, it's fascinating work. Uh, it's worth uh, investing your time uh, into this because it really, the, the results are fabulous and Bonnie is, is so it goes so deep into the work and, and clears layers and she's very compassionate about you know dealing with all the issues without very respectful about what we have I mean whatever is presented she just tackles it and goes for it and cleans it and 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 we got solutions and results so that's magnificent all right well thank you again for your time but uh, Rose, I was about to call you Bonnie <laughs> I'm going to cut that part. <laughs> wow. Uh, what a promotion. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for your time, Rosario. Well, thank right. you uh, so much, Cynthia. Uh, nice to be working with you.